is there's one thing we should do is make yourself a cuppa. It's going to take a while, this one. Ah, oh, that's a perler. Okay. All right. Today, we've got the top box of the BMW uh, 1600K series. And we're going to today attempt to put the rack on the back. Now I've sort of like hummed and hard about what I want to do, but I think if I go level with that, that way it gives us space up there in the centre, which is what we're going to have to mark out. And uh, hopefully that's in the right position. But before we do that, there's one thing we should do, is make yourself a cuppa. It's going to take a while, this one. Ah, oh, that's a perler. Okay, right inside here, if we can see, I'm not sure, I'll put a torch on it, is there, is there screws, because this is a double layer, it's got two layers, so I'm going to take the inner shell out, and hopefully we can see what's behind it before we drill any holes, because the last thing we want to do is hit something we shouldn't hit. And that would be an absolute disaster. Now we've got some tools today. We've got the good old uh, Torque T20, I believe it is, and a 10mm spanner for the actual bolts for the, the rack. And of course we've got the destructions. So, um, and a drill set and a drill over here. The good old drill. I put a, I'm going to put a small drill in there for a pilot hole. And then we're going to put the bigger one in. All right, let's have a look. That's pretty explanatory there. We just need it for the drill size, but we'll double check that anyway, before we do anything, drill any holes. But let's take the aligner out, and we'll go from there. Get them that way. So there's one, two, oh, that's yep, three, no, not one there, or oh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So that's exciting, isn't it? And there's the light there. Didn't see that. All right. That's one. So they're all the same. Yeah, that's interesting, that. that one there goes there. And this one here. Take this one out. We're back here. Now, I went and got a torque screwdriver. And uh, if you're going to... Do yourself a favour and buy a kit. I've had this for over 20 years and the amount of uh, ease that made a job is unbelievable. But get yourself a set of them. They're worth it. They're not dear. We'll see how we go. Might pay us just to loosen them off first before you put the torque on because you never know. They might be a bit tight there and you, next thing you know you've stripped the, stripped the, um, the head of the bolt. That's the last thing you want to do is to try and drill out a bloody screw. All right, let's not make the job harder. So there you go, let's take that off. And there's our little BMW logo. So that's got a wire that was in it, or a light, that doesn't have it anymore by the looks. I wonder what happened there. I'll have to have a look, see what's going on there. But it's got a bung in it. Why does it have a bung? Good question, sir. Go that way, that way. I'm not sure which way does it go that way. It must go this way. Let's have a look. I am not sure about that. These clips I always worry about. You don't want to break them. There must be a certain way. There we are push there so that's obviously for some accessory what it would be for I don't know I wonder if it's for a brake light put in a fancy brake light what do you reckon I reckon that's a power supply for an LED brake light 
that's what I reckon. Makes sense to me. Anyway, get him out of the way so we don't wreck him. What have we got here? Still some more screws to go. After looking at it, pulling it apart to a certain point, I've come to the conclusion that this outer shell is not going to be enough to support anything on there. It's too thin. It's very flexible. And when I noticed that it all becomes one piece when it's two, so I'm going to drill through the both. So I'm going to put it back together. So that's my bad. Not knowing, but that's how we learn. So we'll give it a bit of a clean up. Some wipes while we've got it apart. And, uh, oh, pardon me. We'll go from there, eh? We'll put it all back together. Just give it a good clean. I won't hurt to give it a clean. But I'm definitely going to explore a light for here, a tail light. And I notice there's another power point plug there as well that goes behind the seat. So I don't know what that one's for, but I'm going to find out. So I'll have a look on BMW accessories or something, and uh, we'll go from there. So everything's all good, everything's back to normal. Let's give that a bit of a wipe. So this is the question. We want to put that there, there, about, it's going to go about there, I think, which is pretty damn good, to be honest. So, yeah, I think that's pretty good. I think that's going to be pretty damn good, to be honest. Now we're away. way. So, let's just get one here, one there, roughly, is there something to drill on, we know roughly where we want to put it, let's make sure that sticks down a bit, because we want to be able to check on the other side before we drill any holes, to make sure we're not going to clobber anything, in the centre, like this, now, we can measure from there to there, which is 80, 180 centimeters. So uh, 180, yeah, 18 centimeters, 180 mil. So 180 mil, come on you bugger. This is pissing me off. This is fucking pissing me off. So from there to there is 180. Yeah, 182. So that's 51, correct? Fifty. Let's make sure we get that right. 51. 51. Is that? And we know this one here. From let's touch that there. From there. Through there, it's 52, not quite, 51, is that going to be straight? 52, so 52 is 25, 26, so 26, so that's our centre there, what happened there, I was there, 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 is that right? That's right. And Lewis, and then center, which is that. Then this one. That's good. And then this one. That's it there. So. Either it worked or it didn't, boys and girls. So right, let's just see what we can do. Let's pick all this stuff up with a sticky. So what we got there? Up 
So, put this back on the centre. Make sure we got it right before we drill them too big of holes. In case we'll have a bit of adjustment. One there, one there, one there. That's all good. That's fucking perfect, mate. Brilliant. Right. And this one. This one. Done. Shit, all this the other way. So we're looking here, they're looking right. All you can do is get a bigger drill, like this, and deburr it. All you do is just show you what I mean. I don't know if you can see up there, see how it's got a little burr on it? And just run this like this, see? Now it's nice and clean. I won't have any crap, it'll sit even when it goes flush. We can do that. See how there's no gap there? Very, very good, and it gives it extra strength because there's no way. Same at the top, just a nice little thing, just like so. Takes the bear off, just like that. Just a little hand one makes it nice and flush, so there'll be nothing sitting up. No, that won't stop, will stop the water from leaking in, eh? So it's not sitting up. There's that now. <clears throat> This has to go that way. All right, that's going to seal up against it. So let's screw that in first. That'll be easier. Screw one now. It's a tight fit. It doesn't go underneath it. So. No, no. Yep. So. Just take that off first. See that one there. See if that will hold in there like I want it to. There it is. Right there, look at that. That's going to be fine. That goes on that. Stick them all up in there. Then we can do one at a time, can't we? Okay. Put that on there. Well, they all push out and be a disaster and rattle in the box. What do you reckon? <laughs> Take some bets. See if I can goof it. Do a duff moment. What I'm going to try and do here is put the Loctite on this. That's what I'm going to try and do. So, in that way, you don't go on anywhere. Just a little tiny bit on each, that's all you need. It's just enough to stop it from rattling loose with the vibration, which the BMW really doesn't vibrate at all. It's fantastic like that. Get no vibration through the pegs or the bars or anything. It is fantastic. Look at that. That's got a fit. Look, I did a good job. Shh, don't say it too loud. You'll get in trouble. Somebody will expect you to do it again. Come on. That's it. That's one. That's coming down. Yeah, we'll leave that loose for now. That one there's coming down. It's pretty good. Even loose. That one there's on there. Right, <coughs> so there we go, that's for the boot lid on the BMW 16, let's get this right, let's get this here, alright, we used tape measure, tape pencil, we used 
that one. We use a torch, we use Loctite, and we use a spanner. So let's just get that right. Let's get all that out the way. And that's what we use today. So we installed that. And these are the tools we use. So we used a, the drill, of course. I told you on the different sizes. One I set a 8mm drill, I ended up using 7.5. Loctite, torch so you can see, tape to mark out, measurement to the two spanners that you needed for this job, of course a pencil. It's, um, I made it look harder than what it really is, but I was concerned because I didn't know what was inside the lid. So I pulled the lid out so I could see there's nothing in there that's going to do it. And you can't just put it just in through the top skin and hide the bolts like I was thinking I could do, because it's just not strong enough. It'll just crack and that'll be the end of it. You know, as it is now, that's pretty tight. And it has made a bit of dimples where they are. But I've only done it firm. And all I'm going to put on here is maybe two kilo, if you're lucky. That's it. And my idea on this is either my tent or something like that, uh, or my washing, which I explained before, which is a, just a plastic bag with some water. And usually you only need like a couple of cups of water. Put your socks and jocks and, uh, and a t-shirt in there if you can. And uh, you can do your jeans on their own. And you just put it in there, fill it up with air, of course. You know, put your water and your little uh, washing powder. Make an airbag out of it when you put the wash washing in. Strap it on there. And, of course, uh, bike agitates when you get to where you're going. Take it out, rinse it, and you've got nice, clean washing. You don't have to stress about laundry mats or if they've got machines not working, things like that, which quite happens a lot on the road. Right, that's set. So, hope that helps you guys, and uh, thanks for watching.